always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Sunglasses for umbrellas. That's pretty much a scenario over from today over to tomorrow. Today, though, yeah, pretty nice. We're going to squeeze in another one. You'll notice the wind's going to be much lighter, and we'll be uh, greeted with a wonderful sunrise this morning. Obviously, we're pre-sunrise. Darkness out there with dry conditions, and overall, it should be a really good commute this morning. You can see here's JLR Ford International Airport. All was quiet out there, although it is cool. At 39 degrees in Grand Rapids right now. If you recall, yesterday we are in the lower 50s, 38 in Kalamazoo, presently 40 in Muskegon, 38 up there in the Big Rapids area. You can see 24-hour temperature change. A lot of blue showing up in that map, indicating cooler temperatures to greet us this morning, as much as 17 degrees cooler. Kalamazoo, 19 in South Haven, and 14 in the Grand Rapids area. Here's the latest. Uh, I'm going to expand the view because there's not a whole lot going on close to home today, but that changes tomorrow. And the reason why it changes, this area of low pressure, which is still way down in eastern Texas, is going to basically take a beeline right into southern lower Michigan by Friday, extracting a lot of golf moisture with it. This is how it plays out today increasing high mid-level clouds out there it looks like a solid overcast at times it may be but it looks as if those clouds will be thin enough to allow lots of sunshine through by later on this evening at tonight tonight the rain's going to be moving in from south to north we'll pick it up tomorrow morning of that area of low pressure moving in and you can see by 6 p.m it's going to be smack dab right over the grand rapids area warm sector off to the south and east will be a better chance of some storms we'll get just a general uh, solid rain for that will likely last for hours and then on the back side of it, windy conditions and uh, rain showers be most prevalent. It looks like the first half of Friday may actually dry things out the second half, but drying out, it's going to take a while because just one of the forecast models, this basically is a hint of what most of them say, anywhere between one to three inches worth of rain. No severe weather uh, across our region today, but it uh, looks like uh, right around the Gulf Coast, it's going to be a rough day down there with a moderate risk, but for tomorrow, that risk area is off to our south and east. Here's the eight-day forecast, warming things up, up this weekend, and during the daylight hours, lots of sunshine. Uh, looks like uh, Saturday night could be a few showers. Tom? Okay, working with ongoing construction issues out there, we do have the uh, total closure northbound US 131 at 28th Street. Uh, the closure lasts through Burton, and then you have one lane from there through Pearl Street. So very slow going, and what we've been noticing is the trend in the morning is a lot of people uh, following the posted detour, diverting through M6 to uh, eastbound I-196, and then we pick up a backup uh, a lot of times from the 28th Street Wilson Avenue area area all the way through downtown Grand Rapids along the eastbound lanes of I-196. So uh, slow going uh, on both freeways. So just be aware of that as you head out the door this morning. Other than that, right now, everything running on time. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa Donovan. All righty. Tom, thank you.